Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Citadel, where we're about to take a whole crowd of Flood and the Arbiter, and, uh, politely convince the Prophet of Truth not to exterminate all life, almost all life, in the Milky Way galaxy. I feel the call of the Void. Okay, that's better. I'm glad that didn't happen. That guy again. Just, oh my god. That was messed up. Oh. So far are we along the path that I must strain to hear the clumsy patter of their pursuit. Know this, my brothers. They may foul the way with their charred and broken bones, but they will not stop the journey. I really like that in the lower left part of the middle bit of this uh, zoom in icon. You can, it's really clear there if I put it over the white. Uh, Mark 6 BIOS, what is it? F S43.3945782.1. And that's so specific that it really does feel like the jillionth, uh, you know, OS update for this suit from uh, the UNSC. I'm pretty sure everyone in this room is already dead and you get here even if you don't hang back and talk to your audience, for the record. Grunt blood. Look who's ahead of me. of salvation is at hand. It will not last. Your kind never believe in the promise of the sacred ring. Minds for the weak, beacons for the deluded. I will have my revenge on a prophet, not a plague. My feet tread the path. I shall become a god. You will be fooled. God damn, that's cold. over, but the battle is just beginning. Never seen it in that order. Now the gate has been unmatched. Headstones pushed aside. Corpses shift and offer room. A fate you must abide. Betrayed one villain. Amazing! You know, I never commented on it specifically, but uh, I very much like that between Halo 2 and 3 they added uh, armor to the Arbiter's mandibles. They were bare before. Because, you know, they talk about how, oh, you know, the armor is thousands of years old and we haven't changed the design. You know, the uh, 
the cloaking device works for only a few seconds rather than indefinitely because it's so old. And this suggests to me that once they actually left the Covenant, the elites were like, you know, maybe we should update this armor. Hey, you know, I'd kind of like to have uh, protection for any part of my mouth. That might be nice. <laughs> Oh, you know, I found it funny that we ran into Miranda going out like a goddamn badass so quickly after uh, I pointed out that Marine in the toy set doing something impossible. But I maintained my position. I said no ordinary soldier can dual wield and uh, no soldier... You know, no ordinary soldier can dual wield and uh, certainly not a two-handed weapon. If there is an, ex uh, an, ex an exception to that rule... Hey, shotgun. It's not the shotgun. That is the shotgun. If there is an exception to that rule, it would definitely be the Scion of Jacob Keys. Oh yeah, they can get reactivated. I mentioned this before, didn't I? I think the only way to 100% guarantee they can't come back is to punch the bodies until they break. I don't know how long that takes. Oh, that noise. Yeah, you hear the, the strings of panic from the uh, the Flood soundtrack. Classic. That's you. I thought that one had a shotgun. Damn it, I wanted that ammo. I am covered in paste, and I don't want to think about it. Hey, look who's here! and load. Can you just take those guys out with one swing? That's awesome. I do distinctly remember that when you break the bodies, they make a noise as if they'd been alive and had been faking it. I'm a thief, but I keep what I steal. I don't suppose you're having weird hallucinations of a blue human woman. Uh, I know that wouldn't make any sense to you out of context. No, there isn't a problem. Let's just keep going. <laughs> yes, the covenant, such as it was, is over. Now the question will be whether anyone will uh, agree to that. You keep burning. Just don't stop until there aren't any cells left. Seriously. I don't like that it didn't die. I really don't like that it didn't die. I got a direct hit on that guy. Oh yeah, you see there's a big hole there. The uh, It's like we broke the infection form inside, so it's just dead. That's why the bodies of uh, Brute uh, Flood always just looked like I had, you know, I, this, this giant screaming mouth. It didn't have that gross nodule in the middle. Oh, that is just a pile of pieces. Awesome. Love it. Are we not taking the elevator? All right, fuck it. Vibration. Got a black screen. Oh, there we are. Now I'm what seeing things. See? Depth of field, huh? Never noticed that. If you think he thought this place was crazy, 
Take a deep breath. It's about to get nuts. Charity. Achievement unlocked. Last stand. Cleanse high charity. Jesus. By myself? I thought there was going to be two of them. Ah, uh, yes, this is single player. I guess that must have been from co op. If I even remember that at all. It's not a false memory. Chief, I'll round up our survivors. Fall back to the dawn. Arbiter will do the same with the elites. Ugh. Cortana's in there somewhere. I've never been happier to have a sealed environment suit around me. Rampant. Oh, shit, that's important. Uh... Okay, okay. Cortana is a smart AI, which means she is genuinely self-aware. The downside to this is that... Uh... Smart AIs have a very limited lifespan, around seven years. I think Cortana is, like, three or four at this point. But, uh... When you get to the end of that seven... When you approach the end of the seven-year period, uh, the idea is that they're, th they're, they're overthinking everything. They are making themselves smarter and smarter and smarter until their own programming can't keep up with them. And, uh... They call this period of digital insanity rampancy. But, uh... Reaching the end of your lifespan isn't the only thing that can trigger insanity in an AI. Just gonna throw that out there. I also want to mention, Jesus, that, uh, I mentioned way earlier that in co-op mode, the chief spawns with human weapons and the, uh, elites spawn with covenant weapons. Well, when I played through this game with uh, one of my brothers, he admitted to me at the end of this level that a number of times throughout the level, he had intentionally donkey-punched me and killed me with one hit. And the reason for that is that every time I died, I dropped a shotgun. <laughs> and every time I respawned, I hadn't a fresh shotgun in my hand, so it wasn't a problem. So, uh, if he's playing as the Arbiter, he can't get more ammo simply by dying. So every so often, he would kill me and, re and replenish his own ammo. <laughs> uh, I'm not even mad. That's really funny. Oh, yes, shit. Uh, a comment I hadn't been uh, touching on from Derek Floyd, because it was you know, technically a spoiler at that point. The Foundry, we mentioned this earlier, is where the Ark manufactures Halo rings. That's the primary purpose of this installation, by the way. Spark has found an opportunity to get a new installation to monitor, but the Ark's monitor, 000 Tragic Solitude, is keeping him out. There is another entity in the Ark's system, and that's the one that sees you. That was in the, uh, the t terminal message. Let's see, 2 to the power of 18, 262,144 light years. The arc is beyond the small Magellanic Cloud, a companion galaxy of the Milky Way, and well outside the Array's effect. 
Uh, what else do we have here? Shout out to Clunk279, who says, A thought just occurred to me that even if the Brutes knew the Great Journey was a lie, they'd probably still want to activate the Halos, because of course they'd love to fire off the biggest weapon ever and get the biggest kill count ever. And I genuinely don't know if that's true or not. I love that. I mean, it might be that they prefer, like, getting up close and personal and ripping someone apart, but, uh... <laughs> it might just be the killing, you know? This place looks different from the last time I was here. I believe it was Halo 2 that had a, a deleted scene where you go back to the mausoleum of the Arbiter and fight Flood versions of the Arbiter. Like a bunch of them. Okay, okay, still counts. Just checking. It's like the blood itself is rotting. It's like it's rusted. Jesus, I forgot how ugly those were. It's, like, it's literally like an open wound. I think I just cut the top off a wart or something. I hate this. Like, there was a city here, a residential city, and there's a very large chance that everyone who lived in that city... There are, in part, like, entire buildings in that city that are now stuffed to the brim with meat. Yes, go ahead, knock yourself out. Okay. It was starting to talk to me. Don't love that. It's just a dead brute. I ignored that one. Maybe he was a Spartan one. Noted. I bet that guy went down hard. Took a bunch of them with him. I have to drop down there, and I can't decide if I want to take the sword or not, because this is actually really useful against the squiddies. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ugh. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a pool of saliva or something. Seriously, why are they ignoring these guys? Do they have ultra syphilis or something? I wonder what kind of skull that is. I'm thinking a prophet. You know, I hope the Prophet's homeworld wasn't totally devastated when they pulled High Charity off of it. Uh, oh. What's over here? Because, uh... It occurs to me that if all of the, uh... Like, the leaving faction of... Oh, I just went this way. God damn it. I came from here, yes. It occurs to me that, uh... All of the faction of prophets who, you know, founded the Covenant are probably dead now. Of course the door is a giant sphincter. Ugh. It's like it's made out of toenails and meat. I mean, it's all just biomass, man. If everyone be made that themselves. Child of my enemy, why have you come? I offer no forgiveness. A father's sins pass to his son. I am a monument to all your sins. They are judging everyone alive now for the sins of the forerunners and the uh, ancient version of humanity. Good. Stalkers. <laughs> the 
The Flood is capable of sadism, so I'm not going to shout something like, Leave her alone, you monster! Because it would probably just enjoy that, to be completely honest. I don't know what that was, but I heard the word coffin in there, so... I'm gonna assume it was more of the, uh, the Grave Mind's usual bullshit. I can't believe it still talks in iambic pentameter. It's just smart enough to be able to parse everything it wants to say into, uh, poetry. It's showing off literally every time it speaks. So it's not just a self-aware zombie virus, it's a zombie virus that is self-aware and has an ego. Ah, well. It's a quiet moment right now, so I'm out as well. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Halo 3, when I kill that, uh, carrier form, and probably the one behind it, and we, uh, keep searching for Cortana. Later.